if you can, for our veteran listeners, because most of our community here is their veterans. Um, hey, if you can uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, if you can kind of go through what that process looks like for veterans, especially with their VA loan, because when I talk to other veterans, they don't realize that they can pull their VA loan COE off of a property and use it to buy another property. And which is what I've done. I own several properties and it's because of that. And I wish more mm-hmm. veterans would take advantage of that opportunity because they earned it. Right. So if you can kind of go through that process, like start to finish what it looks like for veterans. Yeah. So first thing I would say is buyers, you are up. <laughs> um, and what I mean by that, we're in a market where people got comfortable with the, what we call it the COVID market, where we had about six weeks worth of inventory. And now nationwide in San Diego, I think we have two and a half months worth of inventory. And I think on a nationwide level, the average is between four to six months. And where I am currently right now in Tampa is about five months. And I say that to say, even though we consider a balanced market three to six months, that means, you know, you can negotiate price. The prices ain't going crazy, driving high um, because people are used to that COVID six weeks. Like, I better put an offer in now or, or else. Um they think that, you know, the market is struggling, but it's really just balanced market based off of history. And be, but because of that mindset, because it goes back to mindset, um, sellers are giving so many incentives to buyers right now to take advantage of. So I will say this, um, if you guys have paid attention to the market or at, at all, you will hear like about the interest rates and interest rates supposed to drop, blah, blah, blah. What happened in COVID years is the interest rate stayed at two, three percent for two too long. And what that did was created an infl- infl- I'm sorry. I'm, I'm about to mess up the word, so I'm going to change it. <laughs> what yeah, they yeah. did was drove the prices up astronomical. And yeah. now be- trying to control that, the prices are here. And then the government trying to control it, they raised the interest rates to here. So what created what it created was a situation of, of unaffordability. So people can't afford to buy it because buying a house, you got this high interest rate at 7%, plus you got this high mortgage that was a result of the inflation, right? So now people have been on the sidelines, kind of waiting, you know, jumping in, jumping out. So what happens now is they're looking at lowering the interest rate because they balanced the market, which was the goal. Let's balance this market so we can quit driving the prices up. But because buyers have been on the sideline, when they drop those interest rates a couple of times, I've already started getting more calls from buyers trying to pick up. For VA, for veterans, you guys, maybe you've heard, maybe you haven't, but one of the biggest things that you earned was that VA loan. That is a starting point for building wealth for you. And with that VA loan, you can go and you can purchase a home with zero money down and no private mortgage insurance requirement, which saves you money over the course of the loan. But what it is, is there is a cap, depending on what state you live in, um, your VA loan there, even though they say now it, things changed over the last few years where you can get what you qualify for. When you start to look at purchasing multiple properties under that same VA loan, which is possible, um, every state has like a cap. So if you build some equity, you buy a house and you don't buy it at the tip top of the market, you're likely to have still uh, some VA eligibility remaining where you can use that VA loan again in a different state or in a different location if you get transferred and um, be able to purchase another home. Or if you're smart like Jesse, you hold on to your asset and you allow that equity build up so that you can get at least 20% of equity, refinance it, and then be able to pull that VA loan if you to, to buy another house too. So your VA loan is not just a one-time use. And another thing is if you are out of the military and you get uh, at least a 0%, um, a 0% disability rating, you no longer have what's called a VA funding fee. Every loan, no matter which loan product you use, is going to have some level of funding fee associated with it. Um, but if you're out, you have no VA funding fee. So you just use the heck out of that VA loan to save yourself money on no PMI, no money out down. So that saves you money. You don't have to give up $50,000 or you know $80,000 to buy an asset. You can keep that money in your pocket and be able to continue to purchase uh, other, other assets um, for you to build wealth.